Hey there, it's Alina from Eximate Master here, and today I'd like to talk about the different versions of Xactimate. So you've got version 28, you've got version X1, you've got the desktop version, you've got the online version, and you've got the mobile version. I think some people are really confused between the versions, so I just want to go ahead and talk about a couple of uh, differences in the versions and then what they all mean and kind of decipher them for you here in, uh, in Xactimate. So let's go take a look at the different versions that are out there right now. So the first version I'd like to talk about is going to be your X1 version. That's the newest version of Xactimate that they've released. Oh, I think it was last year. It's been a beta test for probably a couple of years, but they released it to the public. And um, I always get asked, you know, which version should I get? What's the differences? All of that. So I'm going to cover all of that in this video here. Um, you'll just notice that in X1, it's a little bit more organized looking, a little bit more modern than version 28. However, some of the same preferences, and you'll notice like you can't see your price lists here. They've removed some things that are still available in, X, uh, in version 28 from the X1 system. So this is actually not my preferred version at the moment uh, because I can't do some things that I like to do in the version 28 version. If you're new to, the, to Xactimate, however, and to your carrier, or if you're working under, uh, you know, at a construction company and they require or are already using X1, it's fine. It's a fine version for that, but um, I do prefer the use of version 28. I just find it to be a little bit clunky right now. It's um, some weird glitches and things are still happening and I, don't, I won't go into all of those. I can make that uh, another video because there's, there's quite a few that I could talk about. Also, they've moved some things around. So when you go into an estimate, for example, um, you'll see that this blue ribbon, if you're familiar with version 28, they've basically just added this blue ribbon here and they move some things around from up top. So we used to have uh, print and we used to have our photos uh, up here. They've moved all that onto the blue ribbon now. So you just have to get reorient yourself to where things have moved and it's not really that big of a transition should be easy on you. So this is the desktop version of X1. What that means is I just pay for this one license for the desktop. Um, I don't have online. I don't have mobile. I just have this residing on my laptop. I take this laptop with me whenever I'm going to go write an estimate and it's it's always with me whether I have Wi-Fi or not. So that's what the desktop version means when they talk about that. Then um, if you want to move on to the professional version, the professional version also includes the online version of Xactimate. Okay, so now I'm in a browser. I'm actually in Chrome. I did a video where you can download an Internet Explorer plugin and I use this on Chrome with no issues. I don't have to use the old version of Firefox to access this. But with the online version, I could go to Starbucks, log into Xactimate.com on Internet Explorer and you could work on an estimate right there, right? It doesn't have to reside on this laptop. So the online version and the mobile version of Xactimate are both included in what's called the professional version of the program. So the professional includes both desktop, online and mobile, all three platforms. So you're paying more, but you get the three platforms. And what's tricky about it is if you want version 28, across all platforms, you can you can actually request that you can download the desktop version of 28. The online version is already still in the 28 version. Notice that you don't have that blue ribbon. This is the older style. I can still access the price list here and all of that. And this is on the online version. Okay, so you're going to get if you if you ask for the version 28 of the software, you're going to get an, a desktop version that's going to look similar to my screen. You're going to get an online version, which is what I'm viewing. And then you're going to get the mobile version, uh, which actually even looks different as well. If you order the X1 version of the program, you're going to get what you see on my screen here is your desktop version, but the online version is still going to look like 28. So that's where it's kind of a little bit of a learning curve um, if you're going to go with the X1 professional version, because only the X1 desktop is going to look truly X1. When you go back to online version here and log in, it's going to look like 28. And then when you go to the mobile version, it also looks just like the X1 version. So that throws another stick in your bicycle wheel, if you will. So this is the mobile version and it's kind of a dumb way to do this, but my air server, which projects from my mobile device onto the uh, computer isn't working. So um, this is what the, uh, the, the mobile version looks like. See, it has that ribbon like the X1 version. And sorry, there's a bit of a glare there. 
Um, but you can see it's, and I don't have any projects in here because I never use this version. I don't find it to be very helpful. Um, lots of people love it though. So with the, uh, the mobile version, what you're looking at is if you're able to sketch with your fingers or if you can use some kind of stylus to create the sketch, it's a beautiful thing and it works really well. I love my mouse and I love using my keyboard shortcuts. So me going to the mobile version, I guess I'm getting that old that it frustrates me. So I would rather take a laptop with the desktop version loaded out into the field with like my dad, learn this from my dad, you use a music stand and it's wide enough that you can put your laptop, your external mouse that you use um, to create the sketch and then I don't get frustrated. Some people love the mobile version. They've trained themselves to create the sketch using their fingers you know, or a stylus, like I said, and then they have all their macros in there and they just build, you know, they build it all on site using the, the uh, iPad or the mobile version. Uh, I prefer just to have the desktop version uh, of Xactimate and go out in the field. So it's really up to you and your style, how well you can use uh, mobile devices. I'm not good at it. I need to get much better. Um, hopefully in the coming weeks I can visit with some people that are rocking it with the mobile version. But my whole point is, is notice that the desktop version of X1 looks like the mobile version. Version 28 desktop looks like the online version of version 28. If you purchase the professional version of version 28, you're going to get the desktop version of 28, the online version that looks like 28, but your mobile device is still going to look like X1. If you purchase an X1 professional package, you're going to get the X1 look like you saw on my screen. You'll get the version 28 look online, and then you'll have the X1 look on your mobile. So people have been super confused about that. I may have just over complicated it and confused you, but hopefully not uh, just showing you what the different styles look like. But if you order the professional version, you're going to get some kind of mix. Um, but no matter if you have version 28 or X1. So um, I can have X1 loaded on my desktop and still use the 28 version uh, for training, which is great. So I have both loaded and it's a beautiful thing. So I that's what I'm running right now. I prefer to write estimates in version 28. I've got everything set up. Um, a lot of my macros didn't transfer over to X1, so I'm dealing with that. Um, just, just, you know, a fun time. Once the carriers switch, that's when I think we should switch. That's my personal opinion. You can beat me up all you want in the comments. All right, so my name is Alina Wilson with X of Eight Mastery. Hopefully that cleared up some things and didn't muddy the water too much. If you'd like to know more about what I do, I train contractors specifically how to use Xactimate. You can go to my website at xm8mastery.com. Hope you have a great week in your business and I'll see you next week.